So first of all, what is dementia? Dementia is an umbrella term, right? It's, it is, it's not a normal part of aging. Okay. That's something that is super important. I think people just think, oh, you know, my mom's 90. She doesn't remember. It's just, she's just getting old. You know, that's, you know, so, but it's, it, dementia is not a normal part of aging. Okay. Uh, it's a progressive loss of your cognitive abilities, such as thinking and remembering and reasoning. Um, and all these things tend to interfere with your activities of daily living. So when, in, when someone does get dementia, they, they lack an ability to care for themselves and to socialize with other people. Um, it can be accompanied by a part of many diseases, which we will talk about on a few slides and um, also some physical conditions as well. And Alzheimer's is the most common forms of dementia. So with that being said, this is my favorite visual of dementia because it literally is an umbrella, right? So dementia is a general term to describe a decrease in cognitive function. Okay, so say that again. Dementia is a general term to describe a decrease in cognitive function. Okay, so under the umbrella, there are many different forms of dementia. Okay, so the first one we all know, it is Alzheimer's disease, right? That's something that gets flip-flopped around by a lot of people. I think a lot of people say, oh, my mom has Alzheimer's, oh, my mom has dementia. And so I think it just kind of, they both get intermixed a lot, but dementia, as we said, is the umbrella on top of right it is the a term to describe a decrease in cognitive function okay so under that umbrella of dementia dementia is the alzheimer's disease okay that's the first form that is the most common dementia accounting for 60 to 70 percent of all dementias okay it is a de degenerative disease that attacks the brain resulting in impaired function um, it primarily affects language behavior and memory those are the three things, language, behavior, and memory when Alzheimer's. Um, it manifests with memory loss, such as trouble recalling events or recognizing people and naming objects or learning new information, okay? So the second one you'll see under here is vascular dementia. This is, it's also called VAD, vascular dementia. It's the second most form, a common form of dementia and it accounts for 10 to 20% of all dementias. This specific form of dementia, it occurs through reduced blood supply, supply to the brain, which is due to a stroke. So in platinum, we've probably had, I'd say maybe 10 individuals that have had vascular dementia. And usually once they've had that first initial stroke, they tend to have many baby strokes after that. And so what you'll get is someone who just decreases in cognitive function after every little stroke. So even though the stroke may be small, it adds up to being a big dramatic effect on their cognitive function. And so that specifically is vascular dementia. There's also frontotemporal dementia or FTD. And this is the third most common form of dementia. And um, it accounts for 10% of all dementias is associated with rounded and tangled bundles of protein within the brain. So I'm going to have a bunch of pictures later on here. So y'all can see exactly what these bundles, tau tangles, what they're called, um, and beta amyloid plaques that form in the brain. So I'll show that to you later on in the slide too. And the fourth one is dementia with Lewy bodies or DLB dementia with Lewy bodies. This accounts for 5% of all dementia cases. And DLB is associated with Lewy bodies, Lewy bodies, which are abnormal brain cells. So Lewy bodies are clumps of abnormal protein particles, which is a Lewy body, this is a protein, uh, that for reasons that are not fully understood by scientists, accumulate in the brain. They almost kind of like are best friends and they all wanna like hang out with each other. And so they just kind of accumulate together within the brain. And these deposits form the dementia called Lewy body, which is what the late actor Robin Williams suffered from. So interesting, they didn't know that Robin Williams had Lewy body dementia. Uh, his wife wanted to get a full body um, in, 
inspection on him to see what happened. And they found that 40% of his brain was taken over by this Lewy body protein. And so it was almost closure for his wife because she didn't know what was happening to him. He was having hallucinations. He was up all night. He couldn't, he couldn't sleep during the day. He didn't want to interact with people, couldn't find words. So there were things that were just very off. And when they looked at his brain, they found 40% of his brain. That's a lot of your brain to be affected by this protein. So Lewy body affects the executive function. So you have trouble with problem solving or, or speed of thinking or memory or movement and moods. Lewy body can cause visual hallucinations, which happens quite often within uh, platinum as well. Uh, with problems with attention and alertness and movement problems, such as tremors and stiffness. So this is where I think Parkinson's and Lewy body dementia can sometimes get confused with each other. Lewy body dementia is not the same as Parkinson's, but the two are pretty closely related because Lewy body causes some or all of the motor symptoms of Parkinson's. So I think what a lot of us think of when Parkinson's, I mean, I was born in the 80s, so I think of Michael J. Fox. And so I always think of something that you just, it's a tremor, right? Like you, you can't stop the tremor. It's very similar with that with Parkinson's and with Lewy body. So most people, like I said, associate memory loss with dementia, like my mom has dementia. But in order to be diagnosed with a certain form of dementia, because remember, dementia is the umbrella term for it all. There's forms underneath that. Uh, you must be diagnosed by a physician for that. And I think that's why a lot of people just accept that maybe my mom or dad has dementia. I don't know if they have Alzheimer's. I don't know if they have frontotemporal dementia. I don't know the specific form of dementia that they have, but they have dementia. A lot of times people don't want to go through the test to find out. Uh, so these physicians usually use diagnostic tools combined with medical history and information, including like neurological exams, cognitive and functional exams. They'll ask questions like, what's the date? What, who is the president? Can you spell the word world backwards? Like all these different cognitive uh, questions, and they'll come up with um, all the results at the end and see if you have a certain form of dementia.